A little bit of an adventure, get out for a run in the snow, see if we can find some arctic foxes, some snow hares, <laughs> there's Cornish over there. We've had a bit today, but I enjoy it. See this, but it's really hanging over here. It's nice to have a bit of snow in England for a change. <laughs> in the uh, probably haven't had anything like this for over 10 years now. It's like I say, it's nice to get out to have a little bit of an adventure. This is like the uh, Wiccan Road. I shouldn't think this would be too passable tomorrow if it keeps drifting like this. Supposedly there's supposed to be some uh, 30 mile an hour winds coming in. That'll make it drift. Uh, hope probably everybody's uh, prepared. They're, they're going out in the cars. Just make sure you've got a shovel with you. Just make sure you're safe really. Hard, but if you're indoors, you're right. Getting to and from work, or at the moment, because most of the roads are clear. It's just a side road, so that's uh, what makes it difficult. I suppose people getting to and from work, or getting to and from the major archers. Uh, as you can see, it's sort of drifting. drifting a little bit of higher ground. I think the great thing about this weather is it's slowing me down <laughs> and I'm suffering now from, from I've been suffering from shin splints and uh, I'm trying to get back into it I keep running too fast or too far and at least with this, uh, this weather it's stopping me from getting out too much and also it's um, slowing me down a bit so excuse me I'll take my jacket it, um, I think it aids with your recovery. Also, icing at the same time. I'm not sure that's a good idea because your muscles are not getting warm. But yeah, it's uh, it feels good now. I'm still feeling twingy, and I think I'll stop before it gets painful, and then rest it for another day or two and start again. Little little bits at a time. Slowly, slowly. That's the uh, way to do it, I think. So, 
yeah. I can uh, be a tortoise now and then, be a, try and be a hare and the racing Scottish coming up this year. So, um, let me just uh, play it and see how it goes. I've got my first um, race, 7th of May, so there's a while off yet. Should get a little bit warmer by then, so, yeah. Anyway, <sighs> having a little walk now. Wind's uh, blowing right in my face. Hard work. I should think that's probably about minus six, minus eight, but there's a wind chill factor that's dropped right down. So, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's lovely. It is really lovely. Probably a few people probably... Oh, it's... A few... A few people probably think I'm bonkers. Oh, I, just, uh, I just love being outside. I can put it for... <laughs> if my wife would let me, but I think she's probably worried that I might die of hypothermia, so <laughs> better not, eh? Yeah, it's lovely, that's it, you. Do a draft in here. It's well, really open here, so it's blown right across. Let's okay, get a trot on again. <coughs> I grew up in the Cotswolds, oh, right here, the Cotswolds. I did a lot of work in the Cotswolds. We used to get quite a bit of uh, snow. And uh, in 1982, I remember working at a place called Western Nurseries in Burford. And it was a um, garden centre. And, uh, and the boss said to me, if you get to work, I'll pay you for the week. And it was like this, well, worse than this. It a four foot drift each side of the road and cutting across the road. So I hitched a ride and I got a lift in a, uh, for a tractor that was carrying a pig box on the back and it's 12 miles and I got in this bloody box and I <laughs> I must have been frozen by the time I got to work and now I got to work he said, oh, bloody hell, I didn't mean it he said, uh, but I will pay you for the week, which he did and then uh, I had a dilemma of getting home again so I had to walk home, at least the wind was behind me on the way home but yeah, that was an experience. <sighs> that was the years I got um, hypothermia, but I wouldn't have dared got hypothermia. I was working for the same firm. There you go. You learn from it. Well, you would have thought you did, didn't you? Anyway. 